Have you ever felt like something was off about someone you just met, but you couldn't put your finger on it? That disconcerting sense of unease might be your instincts trying to warn you about a psychopath. Now, when we say psychopath, we're not necessarily talking about knife-wielding movie villains. Psychopaths are individuals with a personality disorder, characterized by a lack of empathy, shallow emotions, and manipulative behaviors. They can be eerily calm during situations that would upset or distress a normal person. They might display an unreasonable degree of arrogance and feel entitled to certain things as their rightful due. Now don't let the term scare you. Not all psychopaths are violent criminals. Some are just regular people living among us, blending into society, and you might even know a few. Yes, it's a chilling thought, isn't it? One of the most disconcerting qualities about psychopaths is their ability to appear normal, even charming. They can be charismatic and attractive, which can make them harder to identify. They're skilled at mimicking emotions and can appear to be the most understanding and empathetic individuals. But beneath the surface, their emotional responses are merely calculated performances. Psychopaths are also adept manipulators. They know how to exploit others' vulnerabilities, to bend them to their will. They can be cunning and deceptive, using flattery and deceit to achieve their ends. Their relationships are typically superficial and dominated by their own self-interest. A psychopath's lack of empathy means they don't feel guilt or remorse like we do. They don't have the same moral compass, which can lead to them engaging in antisocial behavior without any regard for the consequences. But how do you spot a psychopath? What are the telltale signs that you're dealing with one? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We've compiled a list of seven signs that might indicate you're dealing with a psychopath. In this video, you are about to discover the seven signs of encountering a psychopath. So buckle up, because this is going to be an enlightening journey into the mind of a psychopath. First off, trust your gut. When you first encounter a potential psychopath, there's a chance your instincts will tell you something's not quite right. It may be a subtle feeling, a sense of unease, or a nagging doubt that refuses to be silenced. These instincts are an integral part of our survival mechanism, honed by millions of years of evolution. They sense danger and try to warn us, even when our conscious mind can't quite put its finger on what's wrong. It could be a glance that lingers a little too long, a smile that doesn't quite reach the eyes, or an unsettling intensity that seems out of place. These are the silent alarms your gut is setting off, telling you to be cautious. Don't ignore these instincts and pay attention to what catches your attention. Secondly, watch out for displays of excessive affection or interest. Psychopaths are masters of charm and manipulation, often using excessive displays of affection or interest as a tool to ensnare their targets. This might look like love bombing, where they lavish you with attention, compliments, and possibly gifts in order to win your trust and affection. They might also show an intense interest in your life, your thoughts, your dreams, and your fears. It may feel flattering at first, like you're the center of their world, but this is a calculated strategy, designed to make you feel special and valued, all while they're gaining information about you. They use this information to further manipulate and control you. So while it might feel good to be the object of such intense affection, it's important to remember that with a psychopath, this attention is not sincere and is used to manipulate you. Thirdly, be aware of lies and deception. Psychopaths are often virtuosos of untruths, spinning intricate webs of deceit with ease and conviction. They're master manipulators, adept at bending reality to suit their narrative. A psychopath might tell you stories about their past that seem too grandiose to be true, or they may present themselves as someone they're not. They might claim to have an impressive job, a heroic past, or a heartbreaking backstory, all designed to draw you in and earn your trust. But remember, these tales are often as fabricated as a Hollywood script. They use lies as a tool, a means to an end. Their end goal? To manipulate and control. So, keep your wits about you. Stay alert for inconsistencies or stories that don't add up. The truth, after all, has a habit of revealing itself, no matter how well the lie is told. Fourthly, notice any signs of emotional coldness. Psychopaths are often marked by a distinct lack of empathy. They don't react emotionally when they see someone else suffering or upset. 
This might be hard to spot at first, especially if they're good at pretending to care. But over time, you might notice that their emotional responses seem off, or even non-existent. For example, they might fail to show genuine concern when a friend is going through a hard time, or they might seem indifferent to the suffering of others. They might even take pleasure in the pain of others, a trait known as sadism, which is common among psychopaths. This emotional coldness is not a result of them being strong or unfeeling, but rather a symptom of their inability to empathize with others. Their lack of emotional response can be a major red flag. Fifthly, be wary of manipulative behavior. Psychopaths are often masters of manipulation, using a variety of tactics to control and influence those around them. They can skillfully play on your emotions, exploiting your weaknesses and insecurities to get what they want. Guilt tripping is a common method, where they make you feel responsible for their happiness or success. They may also resort to threats or intimidation to establish dominance and control. Manipulation might not be obvious at first. It usually starts subtly, gradually increasing over time. This is why it's crucial to stay vigilant, especially if you've noticed other signs of psychopathy. Remember, no one has the right to manipulate or control you. If you feel you're being manipulated, it's vital to seek help and support. Don't let fear or guilt keep you in a damaging situation. Recognize these tactics and do not let them control you. Sixthly, beware of anger outbursts. One telling sign of a psychopath is their inclination towards sudden and intense fits of anger, seemingly without a valid reason. This emotional volatility is not only startling, but can also be dangerous. Their anger may manifest in various ways, from verbal abuse to physical aggression, and it can be triggered by seemingly minor incidents, or even for no discernible reason at all. Psychopaths often lack the ability to regulate their emotions, particularly anger, which can lead to these explosive outbursts. This lack of control can make them unpredictable and potentially harmful. It's important to remember that such behavior is not normal or acceptable. These anger outbursts are not only frightening, but can also be used as a manipulative tool to instill fear and maintain control over others. If a psychopath gets angry, it's best to stay away and wait for them to calm down. Lastly, watch out for avoidance of responsibility. This is a key characteristic of psychopaths. They have a knack for dodging accountability for their actions, particularly those that lead to negative outcomes. It's as though they have an invisible shield that deflects blame onto others. Psychopaths are experts at playing the victim card, crafting stories that paint them as the unfortunate party. They may even twist facts and manipulate situations to escape the blame. It's always someone else's fault, never theirs. This pattern of behavior shields them from the consequences of their actions, allowing them to continue their damaging behavior without any sense of guilt or remorse. If you notice that someone consistently refuses to accept their mistakes, and instead, transfers the blame onto others, be vigilant. This could be a sign that you're dealing with a psychopath. Their inability to accept responsibility is a clear sign of their psychopathy. What should you do if you think you've encountered a psychopath? Firstly, it's crucial to trust your instincts. If something feels off, or if you're feeling uncomfortable, don't dismiss these feelings. They're your body's way of alerting you to potential danger. Now if you believe you're dealing with a psychopath, it's best to maintain a safe distance. Avoid them if possible. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to move cities or change jobs, but try to limit your interactions with them as much as you can. Remember, psychopaths are masters of manipulation, and the less contact you have, the less opportunity they have to manipulate you. But what if avoidance is not an option? Well it's crucial to set firm boundaries. Psychopaths tend to overstep personal boundaries, so it's important to establish and maintain these boundaries to protect yourself. Don't be drawn into their games. They may attempt to provoke you or draw you into conflicts. Stay calm, stay firm, and don't let them manipulate your emotions. It's also important not to enter into any kind of relationship with them. This includes romantic relationships, friendships, or business partnerships. Psychopaths are often charming and persuasive, but remember, it's all a facade designed to manipulate and control. If at any point you don't feel safe, don't hesitate to reach out to someone you trust. 
This could be a friend, a family member, or a mental health professional. If necessary, don't be afraid to contact the authorities. Your safety is paramount, and it's better to be safe than sorry. Navigating the world with the knowledge of psychopathy can be daunting, but remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the signs and knowing how to respond, you can protect yourself and others from the harms of dealing with a psychopath. Stay safe and remember, knowledge is power.